Good evening, everyone. My name is Celeste Salvadori, and I will be teaching you how to create an HTML document. What is an HTML document? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. An HTML file is a text file containing small markup tags. The markup tags tell the web browser how to display the page. An HTML file must have an HTM or HTML file extension. An HTML file can be created using a simple text editor. Today I'm going to show you how to use the text editor with the Windows operating system called Notepad. We're going to hit the start button. If you happen not to have it on this particular screen here, we're just going to do all programs. Go to accessories and then go down to notepad. Um, what we're going to be doing is doing a little HTML editing and we're going to type the beginning tag HTML and tag beginning tag H-E-A-D which is going to be for the head and the beginning tag T-I-T-L-E and we're going to just call it title of page and we're going to do a backslash and that's just going to end the title t-i-t-l-e if we don't put anything here it's just going to be called untitled at the top of the toolbar right over here so that's why we want to give it a name um, then we're going to go ahead and and the head here by doing backslash H-E-A-D and the tag and we're going to start the body of the document. We're going to do B-O-D-Y and the tag and we're going to say this is my first home page and I'm going to do a little bit of um, bold texting here. I'm going to do a beginning tag B and tag and this text is bold and we're going to do begin tag slash which is going to end it b and another tag and I'm that's going to be it for today and we're just going to do the beginning tag backwards slash to end the body and another tag and we're going to do the beginning tag backwards slash HTML and that's going to end it and then I'm going to go to file save and I'm going to make sure it's selected to the desktop so I can find it easily and I'm just going to call it my page .htm, or you can call it HTML it doesn't matter make sure it's save as type text and I'm going to go ahead and hit the save button. I'm going to minimize this and find it on my desktop here, my page. That's going to pop it up. And as you can see, the text in the body here, it displayed as this is my first home page. The text between the beginning B tag and the ending B tag did put it as this text is bold, and it is bold. And I'm going to go ahead and explain to you the different tags here. The first tag in your HTML document is HTML right here. This tag tells your browser that this is the start of an HTML document. The last tag in your document is the n slash HTML tag. This tag tells your browser that this is the end of the HTML document. The text between the head right over here, beginning head, and the ending head tags um, is the header information. Header information is not displayed in the browser window and the browser window is everything from here to here that you see. All this white space is the browser window. The text between the title, which is this tag right here, and the end title tag is going to be the title of your document. The title is displayed in your browser's caption, which is right up here. The text between the body tags, which is right over here, that's the beginning body, and that's the ending body, 
is the text that will be displayed in your browser. The text between the beginning B tag right here and the ending B tag right here will be displayed in a bold font. Um, to continue on, um, you can also you easily edit HTML files using WYSIWYG. That's spelled W-Y-S-I-W-Y-G. What you see is what you get. Editors such as front page or Dreamweaver, instead of writing your markup tags in a plain text editor file such as Notepad, or another good one is Notepad++, which then allows you to see it, the tags like this, and you can also see it in a browser window automatically, and it'll make any adjustments. If you forget to do an in and tag, it'll correct that automatically for you, usually if it can tell what you're trying to do with it. However, if you want to be a skillful web developer, I strongly recommend that you use a plain text editor to start learning um, HTML. It's been a great learning tool for me, and I've learned quite a bit on, you know, how to go back and forth and figure out what's wrong with an HTML, you know, within the HTML page. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about are headings. Headings are defined with the H1 through H6 tags. Um, the beginning H1 tag here, I'm just going to type H1 and the end tag. And H1 is defines the largest heading. And I'm going to go ahead and then end that, because whenever you do a beginning one, you must do an end one. And then I'm going to go ahead and do, show an example of an H6 tag, H6. And this one defines the smallest heading. I'm going to go ahead and end that by doing the backward slash H6. And I'm going to go ahead and do File, Save. Go ahead, click back here, and hit Reload. And as you can see, it, what this H1 is definitely the largest heading, and the H6 tag here is pretty small. If you haven't noticed, there does seem to be a paragraph between here, and what happens is HTML automatically adds an extra blank line before and after a heading. Um, another way that you can, and this brings me to my next point, is how to create a paragraph. Paragraphs are defined with the P tag, and this is what the P tag looks like. And P, this is a paragraph. And whenever you do a beginning one, you must end it with the backward slash P, otherwise your document won't look right. And we're going to do another one here so you can actually see how it breaks them up. This is another paragraph. I'm going to do the end tag and P. And something that I like to do is do a little bit of separation because it makes it a little bit easier to kind of tell where everything is within the document. I'm going to go ahead and resave that and go ahead and reload this. And as you can see, it put the paragraphs and there's a break between them right there. Another, the last one I'm going to teach you is how to do a break. And basically what a break is, is if you start typing like this, my name is Celeste Salvadori, I would like to take a trip to the Philippines. When you, if I were to go like, hit the enter button and go like this, 
and do File, Save, it's not going to have a paragraph like this, or in this case, I'm going to have it go like this, where I want the I to go down here. It's not going to do that. I'm going to resave this. And if I hit reload, it's all in one line. So in order to break this up, I am going to just type the tag BR. And BR stands for break. So then when I resave this and go back to the screen and hit reload, it breaks the tag. It breaks the line up. So it's not one continuous flowing line. And that's actually going to be the end of my HTML class for today. Join me next week when I will show you some more HTML tricks that I've learned. Thank